Hi all, this is iLearn Code here. In the last tutorial, we created an interface called iFilm model and inserted some functions, as you can see here, insert, select all, so on and so forth. Now what we haven't done is actually implement them. Interfaces aren't here to implement. The class we create will be able to implement them. They're just kind of the, uh, the bare bones of a function. So if we go over to our VB class library, right click on it, add, a class and we want to call this collection film model and click add. So we've got a public class called collection film model. To implement the interface iFilm model, we need to write implements iFilm model. If you hit return, it'll add all the functions there for us to fill out and put the actual uh, code in it. If we uh, return down, just above the public function, we need to create a new dictionary. We haven't gone through this yet, but if we create a new dictionary called Films as a new sorted dictionary of integer film. So that's the type, and that's the value. Okay, so now we've got a new dictionary set up and ready to go, kind of like a mini database. Films is now going to be readily available for us to add and delete from. So if we go ahead and first look at inserting a film, we want to call the films dictionary and add the film ID, now this is calling the properties from our film class. If we go to the top again, all of these, genre, ID, so on and so forth. Go back to our collection film model. So film.id, film, comma film, close brackets. We want to return a film ID and that's the insert function. If we next head down to update and we want to type if remember our if statement from before if open bracket films contains value contains value open bracket film close bracket close bracket then return true hit enter end if return false so that's we've missed out the dot film dot contains value film then return true so basically it's just going to be looking to see if a film already exists if it does then return true as a boolean if it doesn't, then do nothing. If we go ahead and head over to our delete function, if, and then another if statement, if films dot contains value, if it contains film, then return, uh, then films dot remove that film in question dot id so remember film isn't actually the instance of that film because that if we look in class one the actual instance of it is films okay film dot id return true and if 
just like the one before, return false. So this is going to be looking to see if the film contains the value of the film. If it does, then remove the ID of it. If it doesn't, then return false. Don't do don't do anything. If we look at the select functions below, select all. If we want to return all films, we want to return the whole dictionary films values. End function. That was nice and simple. If we want to select by ID, we want to return the dictionary films, open bracket, the film by ID. Film ID. Finally, select by title. This one's a little bit longer because it involves searching text as a string. If we go, if we create a new matching films list, so dim matching films as new list. You can see the, in the IntelliSense it's got list of T, list of objects. So we want it to be a list of film, list of space film. Close brackets, next line. For each, so this is a for each loop. KV, it's a new value called KV, as a key value pair. You can see the IntelliSense here as well. Key value pair. T key and T value. The key is going to be of type integer and the value is going to be film. And we want to look up that, you can see it's already completing it for us in the dictionary films. If the KV which is, we already associated as a key value pair. If the value of which the title, of which if it contains the search text, close brackets, the search text is as a string which is being passed into the method then matching films which we've created here is a new list which would populate in inside the method matching films dot add the key value pair value close brackets come out end if come out next already been written for us we've always got to return something we want to return the list matching films and that's that in the next video we'll look at actually using some of these functions